All right, welcome back to the channel. So that is a bag from Beyond Rider's Armor. And I'm actually really excited to see what all in here. So I haven't opened it yet. Of course, I'm gonna open it. We're gonna do a quick unboxing. I'm gonna talk about it. If you haven't seen Beyond Rider Armor, you need to go on their website. So they claim worldwide shipping. They also claim free shipping over $100. And this is the first time I've seen, oh, that's cool. It came in a bag and everything. This is the first time I've seen a company offer like some type of crash replacement insurance type thing. So yeah, you have to add a little bit of money to the end. But if you crash and tear this armor up, armor, I'm calling it armor in quotation because I think it looks more like a typical shirt, but it's considered armor. So let's see what's in here. Uh, if you crash and you tear it all up, then they're actually going to replace it for you. So um, there is a discount code down in the description. It's going to be Rama, but the link in the discount code down in the description. I got both. I've got stuff falling out everywhere. I got both sets of the armor. So let's get the all unpackaged and take a look at what this is. I'm actually excited for this one because it's about to get cold in Colorado where I live. Uh, so this is actually going to be help me stay warm and protect me. Let's get it all unwrapped to talk about it. So why, while I go through this, I kind of want to discuss why, uh, what drew me to the company. So I've wanted some type of riding shirt that's going to protect me in falls. Uh, mainly from road rash. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, road rash is not fun if you've had it. So, oh, cool sticker. Um, I wanted something that was gonna protect me from road rash. But if you wear just a regular shirt, if you know if you've fallen, that the street will tear up a regular shirt. Even thicker stuff like jeans and stuff, the street will tear it up really quick. So I wanted something that had some type of fiber in it. This does. I can't pronounce it, but uh, Armid. Fiber lining, I've never heard of that, but you can see you can see the yellow below all the mesh. So, but I didn't want something very flamboyant. Uh, I'm not riding a motorcycle. I didn't want something that looks like I'm riding a motorcycle. So that's what really drew me to that company. Starting off right away, there's there's a diagram here that shows you where to put all of the pads. So it doesn't have a pad uh, on your back across your spine. It has a pad for each elbow and each shoulder, which are your high contact areas. That's awesome. They're really proud about this on their website. Uh, you can clean your glasses off with a little microfiber, whatever this is. They're really proud of that. Um, not a big deal to me. Has two inside pockets. The it looks really well built. All the stitching really nice. All the the snaps are actually really nice. I will say this though. Um, it has a California flag on it. That's number one. Guys, the only people that are super proud to wear a flag. A California flag or people from California. So I would suggest putting this on a Velcro so I can take this off and replace it with any patch that I want. Put that on Velcro. And I noticed right away when I went to try to zip it up, I'm right-handed along with like 90%, I don't know the actual stat, 90% of the world right-handed. The zipper on the opposite side that I'm used to. So normally the zipper over here, so you grab this part, slide it into the zipper, and then you use your right hand to zip it up. It was like I was two years old again trying to zip up a jacket for the first time. But the zipper on the wrong side. Um, other than that, it's it's really nice. I'm actually really impressed. This looks really big. Uh, I wear, I'm in between a large and extra large on shirts normally. Large and fit me a little tight, extra large and, or sometimes a little baggy. I'm going to say if you're in that same boat, then get an extra large. It looks really long. But when you actually put it on, it fits pretty snug, and that's without the armor. So if you're in between sizes, go with the size up. Definitely go with the size up. But let's get this out of the way so we can actually look at some of the armor, because that's what I'm kind of excited about. Seeing what the armor kit one and the armor kit two was. There was quite a bit of price disparity between the two, and do you need both? Do you only want one? That's up to you. Here's the difference. So here at the armor kit one, I mean, this is, it's foam. It's going to protect you, right? That's the armor kit one for the back. This is the armor kit two. It's like twice the thickness and it's, it's spongy. It's see, it's actually going to take some impact. So if you're one of the 
crazy rider that like to go as fast as you can, I would suggest going with the two. If you're more like me and you don't like cruising around every once in a while, you kind of top your board out or get close to it, then maybe the, save the money and buy the one. Both kits come with elbow, shoulder, and back. So there's armor kit two, and here is armor kit one. So um, you can definitely tell that it's a different material. This is a little bit harder. This is seems like it'd be a little bit more forgiving if if you know you fell hard onto the ground or hit a rock or anything like that. I think that would be a little bit more cushioning and a little bit more forgiving. So that's enough about that. I'm gonna throw the armor one. That's what I'm gonna start with. I'm gonna throw that into the jacket, I guess you could call it. Throw the armor kit one into the jacket, see how it fits. Do you know what I said? I'm just gonna do this while on camera. First time ever trying to do this, so I might as well show you if if it's hard, if it's easy to do, whatever. Um, I know that video is going to be really long, but before I spend over $100, I like to watch every video that I can, especially comprehensive videos, so that's what you're going to get on this. You can get a comprehensive video on it. So, there's a pouch right here. I'm guessing this go outside. I'm guessing here. There... Their website kind of doesn't have a lot of this information on it. Like, I'm trying to figure out the difference between the Armor Kit 1 and 2, and I, I couldn't readily see it. I didn't look too long. If it's on there, then I apologize. Let's see here. I like I like stuff to fit tight because then it doesn't move around on you. And that, that fits pretty tight in there. So that, that's the back pad already. I'm guessing the easiest way to do the sleeves is just flipping them inside out. Let's take a look what we got here. So we got shoulder up here, the Velcro at the top, and we got Velcro at the top. So I don't think this is something that you're going, you're either going to probably keep the pads in it most of the time, or you're not. Double, yeah, double Velcro there. So, let's try to determine what's what on this. Let's see here. Yeah, I have no idea. Those two look similar, and these two look similar. So I'm guessing these are elbow. And these are shoulder. Well, that's what we're going to go with. There's no marking besides saying winner on it. And some type of weird bicyclist. So that's what we're going to go with. Let's see here. Get this soap pan. This is going to go this direction. I have no idea if once you put this in, if I'm going to be able to flip the sleeve back inside out. Relatively easy. Just got to feed it, feed things in. Okay. So there's the elbow, let's do, there is double Velcro, reach over here, so it hangs up a little bit, I'm completely okay with that because I'd rather it fit tight in this and not move around on my body than go into the little sleeves and pockets super easy and then it just wiggle around or when you actually eat it it slides right off your shoulder and protects I guess the initial impact but nothing again after that. It'd be like wearing a helmet with no helmet strap. Okay. So now we got that in. Let's see if this will flip back inside out. Oh yeah. Easy. Easy. So now we got elbow, elbow pads and shoulder pads in that. I won't bore you with the other side. Let me get the other side thrown in. So getting the plates all installed didn't take all that long. Uh, the sleeves do slip in and out, you know, inside out pretty easily. I'm a little worried because with the the jacket already fit kind of snug. So with the plates in there, was it going to fit too snug? Nope, that wasn't the case. It had a good feel. I could, I didn't lose any type of range of movement in any of my stuff. The zipper, the buttons. Everything feel like high quality. 
I hope so. Can, these aren't cheap. So it did feel high quality. As you can see, the sleeves kind of unzip. Um, there is a button that if you want to get it just one snap tighter, there are two snaps on the sleeves. And then underneath your arms do have some ventilation, although the zipper are small, which I actually like. I would suggest zipping and unzipping this prior to putting it on. It is a little bit of a heavier material, so I don't know. In the summertime, it's going to be hot, but if you're moving that fast where you need a protective shirt like this, then you're probably not going to feel it. So all in all, I'm really impressed. It, it's surprising how great this is. So I'm going to wrap up this table talk first before we go out and actually try it out. Uh, do you need the extra padding? Only you can answer that. I think this is actually really good. It's crazy how it feels. It's like almost memory foam-ish. That's the best way to describe it. It's like memory foam. So do you need the extra padding? Only you can decide that. Do you need padding at all? Only you can decide that. So honestly, for, for the way that I ride and everything, I'll probably be running this a lot more without any of the pads. I want that road rash protection, which the, the material inside this is going to give me, hopefully. Uh, hopefully, I'll never be able to tell you if it works for a road rash or not. But I wanted something that wasn't in your face, blatantly obvious, like something that you would see somebody wearing while riding a crotch rocket or a motorcycle of some sort. And I bought the red one because I wanted kind of more of a high visibility. The black one looked really cool. They have a couple solid color. The blue one looked cool too, but I wanted something that could be seen at night because I am riding a lot more at night. So this with my shred lights should help me out with that. It came quickly. Uh, I think they're shipping from in the United States. So if you live in the US, then it should get to your house pretty quick. It came with a cool bag and it also came with a sticker. So uh, this is going to be probably stored in that bag for the most part. I'll hang it up if I have to wash it. That's a good, that's a good question. Is it machine washable? Machine wash, 30 degree Fahrenheit, do not bleach, do not dry clean, low iron and line dry. Wash with light colors. That's what it says. So machine washable, it, it is thicker. I'm going to warn you, it is a thicker material, but you have to get the thickness of material if you're going to protect yourself from you in the ground. But I don't know, man. It, it feels like if you throw on a light jacket. That's what it feels like if you throw on a light jacket. So if you don't mind riding with a light jacket on in order to protect your skin, then I'm sure it's going to work great. There are some snaps and clips down here that you can start clipping into belts and stuff like that to keep the jacket down if you ever do hit hard. But I, I think I beat a dead horse. Hopefully they don't throw enough for anybody wanting to buy this. I like it. It's really cool. It's really well built. Just put this on Velcro so I could change it out. All right, let's get it on and get it tested, not crash tested, just wearing it while riding. Uh, get it tested, roll to that footage, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, so I've worn this a couple times on a diff couple different rides, so let's talk about the pros and the cons. Now, don't take that the wrong way. I think there are cons to everything, so I'm going to tell you what my pros, what my cons are, and then you can decide if this is worth it for you. So let's start off with the pros. Number one is build quality. I was really surprised. There's a lot of stuff flooding the market that, let's face it, it's just not that great of quality. This isn't the case with this shirt. I don't know what to call it. Shirt, armor, whatever you want to call it. So that's not the case. The build quality is really nice. The stitching is really nice. The mesh on the inside, everything about it, I was really surprised. And that's the biggest pro about it is I honestly feel like it was worth the money. So uh, another pro is I, I, if you live in the United States, it was quick shipping. So um, I also like the fact that they're going to warranty it. So if you pay the 25 or $30, it's on their website. But if you pay the extra fee when you buy it, then they're going to warranty it if you crash and tear it all up, which is awesome. I haven't seen a company do that yet. I wish helmet manufacturer would do that. Because helmets are expensive and then you have to replace them the first time that you hit your head hard. Well, you're supposed to. So that's another huge pro for this. Another pro is going to also be a con. So I like the breathability of this and I like the fact that it's not too awful hot. 
But a con is, it's like wearing a jacket if you're riding in the middle of summer. So it is a con. It's also a pro though. I don't think you can get away from having something like this on and not get hot. So I think that they did the best job that they could. And then the last pro that I'll talk about is a pro for me. I like the way that it looks. I didn't want something that looked like I'm wearing a leather biker jacket. That's not what I wanted and that's not what this is. So that's definitely a pro. I guess that's all the pro that I have. Everything worked the way that it was supposed to, so I'm not going to say that that's a pro. The the armor pads feel, you know, comfortable if you can wearing armored pads inside a shirt. So all of that, I guess you can chalk it in the pros. But let's get into the cons. For the cons, I really don't have that much. Uh, get the California flag off there. I'm not hating on California. I'm just not from California. It doesn't resonate with me. So put Velcro on that. Put the zipper on the correct side. Most of the world is right-handed, so put the zipper where you actually zip it up from your right hand. Um, other than that, man, I can't really think of many cons. Oh, do you know what? There was one thing. So that mesh liner on the inside of the, the jacket, that sticks to the Velcro. So when you open up the Velcro to put the pads in or out, that mesh liner does stick to the Velcro. It's just kind of annoying. You have to peel it off the Velcro, then Velcro the the two sides down again and then you're on your way honestly i'm trying to nitpick this thing if you can't tell and that's really all that i have i actually really like it they could have put some reflective stuff on it that would have been helpful uh, i bought the red so it's higher visibility at night hopefully i don't know uh so some re reflective stuff on it would have been nice um just like a strip on the back a strip on the front something subdued something small but Reflective stuff would have been nice. Uh, let's talk about price. I don't know if that's a pro or a con to you. It's not to me. So this came in with with armor, depending on which armor that you buy, and with the insurance. You know, you can add a lot to this. So it's a hundred and twenty dollar base price minus the, I think ten dollar that you'll save with discount code Rama R A M A. But it's it starts at hundred and twenty. We'll call it hundred and ten with a discount code. Y'all are gonna use it. Thank you for that. And then you add on to there. So is that worth it to you? I don't know. Only you can only you can answer that question. It's worth it to me. If you've ever gotten road rash, if you've ever eaten it hard, if you've ever taken that hit on the shoulder or on the elbows, then yeah, this is probably well worth it to you. If you haven't, then come back and talk to me once you do. If you ride at speeds over, I'm going to say 15 to 20 miles an hour. If you ride at speeds over than that, then you're going to want something on when you take that spill. If, God forbid, if you ever take that spill. So the price is worth it to me, but only you can decide that. So tell me down in the comments. Do you Did you like that video? Did you not like this video? And then also, do you like this armor, shirt, whatever it's called? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you have, do you have experience with it? Please let everybody know down in the comments. It's not just my opinion that matters. It's y'all opinion that matters. So throw it down in the comments. What do you think? Do you have one? Do you like it? Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And we'll catch you on the next video.